guys, this looks like a fun one. It says, what's the area of this triangle? Or given that it has a height of four, this circle has a diameter of three, and this circle has a diameter of two. This is day 30 of our advent calendar. For the month of December, we're gonna solve 31 Katrina Ag puzzles in 31 days. And if you wanna try this one, pause it right now, because I'm gonna solve it in three, two, one. There are a lot of intersecting tangent lines here. So let's use these notes about intersecting tangents. It says if two tangents of the same circle intersect, this distance will equal this distance. And if it wasn't obvious enough that both of these were labeled A, we're also told that A equals A. <laughs> I think that's hilarious. Such brilliant notes. So it's telling us that this tangent line is equal to this tangent line. Let's call them both X. And then this portion will equal this portion. Let's call them both Y. Does that make sense, Y? And I think we're done with the notes for now. The diameter of this circle is equal to three, which means if we drew a radius, it would be equal to 1.5. And this radius as well would be 1.5. If this horizontal radius is 1.5, that means the distance from this tangent point to here would be 1.5. So this portion is X and this is 1.5. And then we still don't know this yet and this is Y. And then for the vertical radius, that's the same as this part of the height right here. So let's color this green and label it 1.5. So the whole height is equal to four. This portion is 1.5. That leaves 2.5 for this portion. And this portion forms a tangent line that'll be the same as this tangent line. So we're gonna use these same notes. Since this is 2.5, this one would also be 2.5. And now we're done with the notes again. Let's clean this up and we can change the height back to four. And then let's look at this circle. The diameter is equal to two, which means the radius would be equal to one. And the same thing for this radius, it would also be equal to one. Since this horizontal radius is equal to one, the distance from this tangent point to here is equal to one. And then since the vertical radius is one, the distance from this tangent point to down here is equal to one. So let's color it green and give it a label of one. You can barely see it, but that green thing is one. Since the whole height is four and this is one, this portion will be three. And this tangent is an intersecting tangent with this one. And if we bring back these notes, this orange segment will have the same length as this orange segment. So this will be equal to three. And now we're done with these awesome notes again. And let's bring back the whole height of four. Let's focus on this really cool right triangle on the left. And let's do Pythagorean theorem. It'll be x plus 1.5 squared plus four squared equals x plus 2.5 squared. So now we gotta multiply this out. It'll end up being x squared plus three x plus 2.25. And then four squared is equal to 16, and that'll be equal to this multiplied out, which will be x squared plus five x plus 6.25. And now let's clean this up. Both sides have one x squared, so let's subtract those away. And then we have a three x and a five x. Let's subtract the smaller one, three x, from both sides. Let's get rid of the 6.25 from this side. Let's subtract 6.25 from both sides. On the left-hand side, this stuff all cancels and 2.25 plus 16 minus 6.25 is equal to 12. And then on the right-hand side, this stuff cancels and this stuff cancels, and 5x minus 3x is 2x. Now to get the x all by itself, we can divide both sides by two. 12 divided by two is six, and 2x divided by two is x. And now we know that x is equal to six. Let's change both of these x's to six. And now we're done with this work. Now let's switch over to the other triangle. And this is a right triangle, so let's do Pythagorean theorem. It's gonna look just like the last one, so I'll save us some time. I still did all the work. If you wanna pause it, you can check it out. But it's basically the same thing as what we did for the other side. We end up with y is equal to two. So let's change both of these y's to two. And now we're ready to find the area of this triangle. The area of a triangle is one half base times height. The base of this triangle is equal to six plus 1.5 plus one plus two. And that's equal to 10.5. And then the height of this triangle was given at the beginning, it's equal to four. And then one half times 10.5 times four gives us 21. Let's give it a label of unit squared and put a box around it. This is the answer to our question. The area of this triangle is 21 units squared. How exciting. Here's the last problem of the advent calendar. It says the circles each have a radius of one. What's the area of the rectangle? So I can tell you right now the base is... Actually, let's wait for the video. How exciting.